Hello everyone, Josh here with Enemy Impact, bringing you guys another Yugo Doinks rant. Now, I have not done a rant in quite some time, but I have not really farmed an event as hard as I have this one for quite some time. And the reason is, usually I just auto-duel things because the card drops really aren't that impressive or they're going to come to the gate later on. However... The Cyber Dark cards that we got, we got a couple of the Searchers and stuff like that, some of the support. We did not get the Field Spell, but we did get Cannon, and we got Claw. So, I've been trying to get three copies of both, and I am, let's see here, I'm sitting at, I believe, almost 6 million points. I've strictly only used Dual Orbs, or I'm sorry, I've not used any Dual Orbs. I've been only using the Standard Duelist. I've been fighting Zane in the Dual World. And Zane at the gate at level 40 with a full 8,000 or more duel assessment every single duel. I have not failed a duel yet. And here I am sitting at almost 6 million points. But for whatever reason, for whatever reason, the drop rates are just astronomically terrible. Now, this has been an ongoing thing for quite a long, long, long time. And I've been farming this game for going on two years now. I'm actually approaching my two-year anniversary in this game the first week or so of November. So I'm getting very, very close to being at my two years invested into this game. And I've been farming Gate Duelist. Um, every Gate Duelist in a game, I've farmed them all up already. GX, uh, 5Ds, and dual, uh, dual World. Normal Dual Masters. Dual Monsters, rather. And uh, I've also been farming up all, all the, you know, roaming duelists uh, of the past, uh, the present, and probably maybe even some in the future. But the problem has been an ongoing issue with the drop rates just being bad. And when you keep adding new cards to the card pool, but you're not taking out the old ones, it becomes an issue. I, no kidding have pulled so many of the older SR support that we got from <laughs> several times ago. Um, and I just keep getting those cards over and over. And it's di it's just being diluted so much to where it's harder to get some of the newer cards. Now, this is a problem when they do it in the lottery system as well for events where they just add cards to it, but they don't take cards away. Konami, you need to understand something. I know you've been making some big changes with the meta. I'm proud of you for that. But here is a problem with the farming aspect of the game. It has been the same since day one. The farming aspect of this game has not changed. And it's something that you need to change. Because most of this game is farming. You have ranked PvP. And then everything else is farming. You gotta farm the events. You've gotta farm the gate duelist. You gotta farm the roaming duelist. You gotta farm all the different characters. Uh, you gotta farm up their levels. It's just farming 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 they should call this game farm links that's been an ongoing meme or a joke whatever for a long long time but it's like okay konami we need to think of something new to do now with these farmed cards we got to think of a new way to approach this system that works better for the players um and for yourselves as a company you know get some respect from the player base and make a healthy player base and then you have a really healthy product and people will continue to play and keep coming back. But the way the game is set up now, it's it's just, ah. It's like if there's certain cards that are just so bad you don't care to farm, you're not going to farm the characters. Thus, as a company, you're not getting your player base on board with your events because they don't even want to participate in them. They'd rather just auto-duel it and get whatever they get because they could care less. So step one, you need to make the rewards better, which, of course, you can't make everybody in the world happy, but, you know, you can definitely produce better cards than what you've been giving lately. The card trader has been kind of dead lately as well. I'm kind of surprised the card trader was always a good go-to place to get either good farm cards or to get good, potentially good Tekkens or even a good meta deck, for example, because... I mean, the, the card trader has provided, uh, provided us with cards like Hazy. Um, it's given us Arrow Mage. It's given us a lot of farm cards that we've used. Um, so, I mean, it's it, it, recently, it's just the farm aspect of the game has been really lacking. Um, 
And I've always been one of the biggest supporters of the farming aspect of the game because I always felt like that was a cool thing because you don't got to be a pay to win to do it. You don't got to be a competitive player to do it. You don't even got to be a good player. You just have to be productive and efficient with your decks when you're trying to farm to get the most bang for your buck or in this or in this regard um more rewarding more rewards rather for your time invested so the farm aspect was always kind of okay the next card trader updates coming cool we're gonna get three new cards one of them's got to be good right i have not said that in a long time matter of fact when was the last time we actually got a good productive card from the card trader if you guys can remember let me know because i would have to really think back it's been a while when was the last time we got really good cards from a roaming event or a gate event? Yeah, I mean, it's been a while, right? So that aspect of the game definitely needs to change. They definitely need to make some improvements to that. But the meat on the bone here, the problem that I really have with the farming is the dual assessment. It needs to go. It's got to go. It's been two years too long. It needs to go. Um, having to basically force yourself to get 8,000 dual assessment per duel because you know these duels cost keys and the keys aren't free. You have to go out and beat standard duels to get them. So it just doesn't work. Um, you know, it's just not time efficient, right? It's just very time consuming. And then you add in the RNG factor and then you add in the bigger card pools because they keep adding cards to a certain event, especially if it's a returning event like Zane here. And you don't take cards away that have already been here. Okay? Here's the thing, Konami. If you're not worried about players being able to get all the cards during a roaming event, then stop fucking adding the old cards to the event when you bring it back. Add all the cards to the event once you put it at the gate permanently. Then the players who missed the older events, they can get those cards then. Because obviously your concern isn't for people to get all the cards. If, if your concern was for us to get all the cards, we wouldn't have a dual assessment system in the first place. It would be you just win, you beat the, you beat the duelist, and you're rewarded with certain card drops guaranteed. Or here's another fucking idea, Konami. How about you take away fucking gold, the stupid ass jewels, and fucking normal rarity cards that are not lit. Well, I guess you could keep those in there because they are listed as rewards technically. But at least take away the fucking gold. Take away the fucking goddamn SR and UR jewels. Because that shit is so fucking, fucking annoying. I'd rather at least get all the rare cards or higher at every drop. That way I know every single fucking drop is a card. Not this other fucking stupid shit. And honestly, I know some players will be like, oh, but my gems, I love those once in a blue fucking moon, one gem or five gems here and there. Those gems are so inconsistent, it doesn't even fucking make a dent in anything, to be honest. Even if you go into it hard as fuck. If I sat here and I grinded this shit for 10, 15, 20 million points, I won't even have enough gems from this event from the drops in the actual chest to even go into more than maybe three or four packs. That's how bad the drops are for gems. So don't even get, don't even get me started on that shit. So honestly, do me a favor. Do the other players a, a favor. Do us all a good service here. Take that shit away from the rewards. Make the rewards for events like this always guaranteed a card. That way, we only have to worry about the normal, the two normal rarities and the few rares that Zane drops, and then the rest are all the SRs or the URs. So at least within uh, with an 8K dual assessment, we have a higher ass chance to actually get the cards we need to get. Then sit there and say, oh, look, another 100, 200, 500 fucking gold chest. Another rare jewel chest. Another fucking SR and UR jewel chest. That shit is so fucking annoying. It pisses me off. I'm sitting here doing a 10-minute farm. You know, 17, 18, 20 fucking turn duel, whatever. Trying to be careful that I don't fuck up. And then you give me eight chests of fucking shit literal shit 
If I'm gonna bust my ass for 8,000 fucking dual assessment for a chance to drop shit, you better at least fucking give me at least one guaranteed or two guaranteed fucking rainbow packs, Konami. Like, what the actual fuck? It's been two fucking years. It's time for that shit to be to completely be changed or just completely removed altogether. I'd rather get one rainbow pack for a win and one rainbow pack guaranteed for getting 8,000 dual assessment. To me, that seems fair as fuck, and I think a lot of players would enjoy that. That means if you do a successful farm of 8,000 or more dual assessment, you will be guaranteed two rainbow packs per farm. Which, yes, RNG can still play factor. They may not be the cards you want, but at least every single farm you do, you're guaranteed two rainbow packs. There has been days like today and yesterday for me farm-wise over the past two years that I would farm fucking 10, 15 times in a row at level 40, 8,000 dual assessments and not get one fucking rainbow pack. And I know a lot of people can sympathize with that. Because they've had the same thing happen to them. It's absolutely annoying. And people say, oh, but the cards aren't even that good. That's not the fucking point. It doesn't matter if the cards are good or bad. Because if you're saying that now, what are you going to say when they do release good cards? Then what's your fucking excuse going to be? Then what? Now, so then you're going to be pissed at Konami. And that's what's going to happen. So instead of nitpicking when you want to be pissed at konami let's just be pissed at konami right now because it's been going on for two years and two years is too much it's ridiculous same thing with the rank pvp system but that's a fucking video for it for itself that's a whole other topic for a whole other day but i just i'm just frustrated with the fucking farming mechanic in this game they want us, they expect us to fucking bust our ass to not only just beat the duelist, which should be hard enough in its own right, but to farm the bitch up to 8,000 dual assessment. And it's ridiculous. And a newer player, somebody who's just jumped into the game, they're not going to get these fucking cards anyway because they're not going to be able to have a farm deck in time to farm his ass. Because farming takes more farming to unlock certain skills that are also a lot of the times RNG based. And then you also have to take the time to level up characters or farm other characters to get certain cards to put into a farm deck to farm this fucking character. So it's like 20 million fuck. I'm exaggerating here. But it's like 20 million fucking layers of farming to continue farming another thing that also requires more farming. So, moral of the story here is there's too much fucking farming, not enough rewards. Time management is of the essence here, and it does not exist in, in Duel Links. And it's been two years now. Something needs to be done. It's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. And what happens when some of our farm cards become really good, maybe in the PvP aspect? I mean, let's just say, for example, it could happen hypothetically, and then we lose them. Like Econs, for example, they've been hit. They were a really good card in far for farming. Chance Vigilance with Blue Eyes was a really good farm deck once upon a time. When they start cutting that shit out of PvP and we lose it in the PvE aspect, farming becomes harder. And it's going to continue to be that way, you know, going forward. Um, like Bamboo right now, they, they nerfed Bamboo. Imagine how much faster farming would be if we could have our Bamboos right now, especially with like Cerberus. We could farm like that for a lot of things, save a lot of time. But no, Konami took it away from both PvP and PvE um, instead of keeping them separate. It's just, it doesn't make any sense to me. Something needs to change. If you guys agree, drop a like below. Comment below what you guys think that they need to change the farming system too. Do you think that need, need to completely just exile, get rid of, you know, completely just abolish the stupid ass dual assessment system altogether and just give us like random amount of drops for a win? That way we can just go in and win, 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 win and speed through it. Or should they at least give us some kind of better rewards for actually achieving 8,000 dual assessment, like at least one or two guaranteed rainbow packs per farm guaranteed, and on the eighth one, it's guaranteed to be one of the featured cards from that farm event. So, for example, if I got 8,000 dual assessment right now, I'm guaranteed to get one of the newer SR or UR cards. So I'd be guaranteed to grab either a Cyber Darkness Dragon, I'd get a guaranteed Cannon, or I'd get a guaranteed Claw. So you have about a 33.3% .3 chance every single duel to get one of those three cards that you need.
every single duel at 8K assessment. I think that seems fair. They should do something like that. But again, this is Konami, and we'll see. Again, I gave them props for what they're doing with the meta, but there are still a million other things that they need to address and get, get on to fixing and making better. And farming is definitely one of the more important things to cover in this game because I know there's a lot of highly competitive players out there that's like, oh, hey, fuck, fuck, farming ain't got nothing to do with this and got nothing to do with that. Well, I hate to break it to you. You're a dumbass because here's the thing. Duel Links was, is, and probably always will be two-thirds farming. You know what that means? 66 plus percent is of this game is farming and go ahead and try and prove me wrong because you're going to fall flat and fall on your face and fail because you take away rank pvp what else is there to do in this game you farm how do you level up your characters you farm where do you get a lot of your cards from where do you get a lot of your free to play gems from to go into packs that you use to make a pvp deck you farm how do you use certain character skills in this game to be competitive in PvP? You fucking farm. So, you guys get the idea at this point. It's a very farm-heavy game. Always has been, but that's not really the problem. It's the rewards and the time management behind the farm, the grind. That is an issue, and I just want to see them things change. So, anyways, that was my rant for today. Ah, I'm a little bit steamed. Um, the reason why today's video was created was mostly because out of just self anger and rage at the farming system because yet again i bust my ass in f farming and i farm to perfection like konami wants me to do but i'm not being rewarded for doing what they want me to do so cyber dark cannon i've only got one of it's, it's still the only copy that i got which i got for free from the event points I'm 6 million points deep, and I still haven't even got a second or third copy of that. So, who knows if I'll even have the deck done before he goes away. I still have a few, uh, what, about a week left? We'll see. But, man, these drop rates are terrible. I don't know how many um, fucking eight chests I would get, and they would just be nothing but gold or jewels. Just, it's so fucking... It, you guys get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. So if you share in this grief, you share in this pain and this misery and are suffering as I am, um, be it this event or past events um, where you just could not finish a deck or get the deck you need because you would do what Konami wants you to do, but the drop rates were just so shit, then definitely drop a like, comment below. Subscribe if you're new. Join us in the Discord below as always, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Happy farming. Not really. Peace.